guys this is kishan and today we are going to discuss about creating materialized view so as we have seen the theoretical part of the materialized view in previous video in this video i'll uh, take you through the syntax and the uh, you know demonstration of creating a materialized view so as as noted in the previous uh, video tutorial a materialized view will be created based on a master table or a master site which is remotely located so we are connecting two different database remotely uh, through a db link or it can be even done locally to do the same i i have using two different schemas hr and scott schema what i will do is i'll create the materialized view in my hr schema and the master table or the master site uh, of the table that i am targeting will be in scott so what i am planning to do is i will take any of one table from the scott schema uh, say it department employees i will take the department table dept it has only four records in it just for understanding and i will create a materialized view on this dept uh, table of scott schema in my hr schema so i will be creating a materialized view in hr schema which will be referencing or which has the master table uh, in scott schema so now we'll start creating the materialized view so as we know the basic syntax is such as create materialized view we have to give some name say mvdept that is materialized view underscore department build we have two options over here either immediate or deferred what the immediate does is as soon as the materialized view is created data is populated in the materialized view in if we select deferred if we write deferred then what happens is on the first refresh of the materialized view the data will be populated i'll go with immediate build immediate other thing is refresh so we have three options either we have a, we can have a fast refresh or a um, complete refre refresh or a force refresh when we do a fast refresh what will happen is only the data that is changed on our master table will be considered and be reflected in our materialized view it is very optimal and very fast the second option complete what it does is it will truncate the table segment of our current materialized view and repopulate the data it is like it will delete all the data which is present currently and then it will run our select query and fetch the data again and repopulate our materialized view that will be a bit time consuming depending upon the number of data present on the master table the third one is force what force does it it will first try fast refresh if it is not able to do a fast refresh due to any reasons it would go and do a complete refresh so that is force i'll go with the fast refresh option presently now we have to select refresh fast on whether you want it on commit as as and when there are changes done in the uh, dept table of the scott schema and it is committed do we want this that way or we can have demand on demand means whenever we do a man uh, automated refresh or manual refresh like when we ask the materialized view to refresh at that time only it is better to keep it on demand because on commit uh, is quite unpredictable so whenever the data is changed and all so i'll keep it on demand and the fourth option that we have is uh, we have to either enable or disable query rewrite option so if we want our sql query of our materialized view to be uh, you know Uh, open for a rewrite if the, if the performance is not good then we can give an enable query rewrite i don't need it presently so i'll put disable query rewrite after this as and we have to write the select statement so say suppose select star from scott dot department so i will i am taking all the data present in scott dot department table we can have a selection like we can just take department number and department name or you know department number and location uh, 
um, as we require but I'm taking all of the data we can as we discussed about data subsetting in a previous uh, slide we can have here department number department as per our business rule we can uh, con concentrate on only the data that we require so when I try and create this what I have done is I have a refresh fast option and I am trying to do create this materialized view it throws an error what it says is there is no materialized view lock table present on this table so as we have discussed previously if you are doing a fast refresh the master table or that parent table should have a materialized view lock table as we know what a fast refresh will do is it will concentrate on only the uh, data that is updated from our last refresh so say suppose we have done a refresh of our materialized view and then the master table five records are updated on the master table if we have a refresh fast we need to have a lock table on the master table whenever there is an update over there the lock table will you know uh, keep a log of all those updates so that whenever a refresh is again requested only that data is concentrated and updated or deleted or inserted so we need to have a uh, log table over there. What we can do is, we it's a very simple syntax. I have to go to Scott schema. And over here, I need to create materialized view log on dbt table. So it says materialized view log dbt created. So once this is created, now I can again try and recreate my materialized view. So as we can see, my materialized view is created. So now when you expand this HR schema, and when you go in materialized view, you can actually see the MVDPT materialized view that we have just created. And when you go in the Scott schema over here and when you expand the materialized view log you can see the DPT table on which we have created the materialized view so this way you can even look at the materialized view that are present in your uh, database now one more thing that I would like you to see is when you go into tables you actually when you go into table and scan them what I want to see is that over here you have something called as MVDEPT what MVDEPT is our materialized view but as I stated in the previous uh, video tutorial that the basic difference between a materialized view and a simple view is that a materialized view will hold the actual data so you need to refresh it and all this concept comes whereas a simple view is only a named and stored SQL statement it does not hold any data so this is the table that is holding the data for the materialized view mv underscore department this is the table that is created when you create the materialized view when you drop the materialized view this table will be dropped so I'll just query the materialized view mv so as you can see it contains data of this SQL statement written over here so now let me do one thing now let me insert one more record over here or you know update a record and see what happens I'll just insert into dbt I'll just concentrate on two columns presently that is department number another is department name I'll give values as 50 comma there is accounting research stage operation I'll put an HR HR department so I have one row is inserted and I'll commit over here this is what I have done in Scott schema so what I want to show you is I have updated or you know manipulated the content of department table I have added one more record called as dpt 50 hr when you go in our materialized view and see 
this record over here is not updated so now when you want your materialized view to be updated as per your parent table you need to perform a refresh on the materialized view see as you can see i have inserted the data also and i have committed it still it has not refle reflected in our materialized view to get that reflection to get that up to up, uh, data updated what you need to do is we need to refresh the materialized view there are two ways to refresh a materialized view either you create a, a materialized view refresh group and add the materialized view in that group and you know uh, schedule that group there is an option of time where you just put in the time like every 15 minutes all those materialized view will be updated or if you have a single mater uh, materialized view to update such as in our case what you can do is you can just execute the given package and procedure for refreshing a materialized view the package is dbms underscore mv and the procedure is refresh just pass on the materialized view name in this and when you refresh it the materialized view gets refreshed when you execute it the materialized view gets refreshed it says anonymous block is completed now when you query the materialized view you have this updated data back here so I just inserted a record in the master table, committed it. It it will not get ref, uh, reflected to our materialized view unless it is unless our materialized view is refreshed. Once you refresh our materialized view, as you can see, you will get that updated data over here. So this is basically creation of materialized view and refreshing it. Now every time you say suppose you, every one hour or every every day at night twelve you want this refresh to take place, you can just simply put this refresh in a um, job and then schedule the job to run at whatever time is required and it will just the job will just run execute this and refresh the materialized view so i'll just drop this materialized view over here to do it you need to write drop materialized view materialized view name that is mv dbt as you can see the materialized view is dropped now when I will just refresh this tables see and when you come down you don't see that mv underscore dpt table that was there before so that table was created to hold the materialized views data so when we drop the materialized view the table also gets dropped this is what I wanted to show you um, I hope this video was informative we have gone through a lot of uh, materialized view syntax and all a materialized view is a very vast concept but i have tried to you know uh, concentrate on the basics i hope you guys have enjoyed the video please do like share and subscribe thank you